Hi. That's uh... I shut up about my outfit. Yes, I. I. Long story short, uh, I had a friend of mine choose my clothing for a week, and he chose this. It's amazing, actually. Uh, yeah, you laughing right there is actually something I don't have yet. Interesting. Uh, so, uh, thank you for having me over to your town. Your uh, gate yeah. is really, really cool looking, actually. Thank you. Uh, that's something that I haven't shown yet. You have to have. Um, I think it's like a hundred people visit your town to be able to remodel your gates. That's it, right. It's a cosmetic thing, but I like it. Um. Uh, anyway, uh, are all these for me, really? Yeah, there's five presents for you. Oh, all of them, really? <laughs> Every single one of them. Oh, thank hopefully you. Hopefully you have enough space um, in your inventory for them, I hope. <laughs> hope hopefully, I definitely <laughs> hope so. So, uh, I see that you got some uh, patterns put on the ground. Whenever you design things with the Able Sisters, you can actually put designs on the ground. This is something that I haven't shown yet. Uh, he's done a few things, I think. Um, Andrew, you've done a few things in your town that I haven't done yet, and this is going to kind of let me show off those things. Uh, he's right. got quite a few hybrid flowers. Things are a lot more developed here than they are over in Palette, but, you know, it's kind of the fun of Animal Crossing is that you're building up to that. I'm sorry, I should have led you the way, but over here is where I... Uh... There's that one thing you may have wanted to show off. Oh, um, yes, we had this tent back on the first day of um, uh, when I started things up. Uh, this right here, I've not gotten to show yet. Uh, thank you so much for letting me show this in your town because I've been wanting to show this for a while. Oh yeah. Uh, this here is Red. Basically, he will come to towns at random times. He's a special visitor, and he has various paintings that he will sell you. Some of them are fake, some of them are real. Come on, let's wait to see my magnificent gallery. It seems like a bargain hunter here. Tell you, this week's items are as rare as they come. It's almost green with envy. I can't buy them all. But remember, we only sell one item per customer, so make your choice very carefully. Basically, I'll buy a painting here, and he will ship it to my house. It'll ship it to my house after this is all done. Uh, some paintings are fake, and if you have knowledge of artwork, you can tell what items are real and which ones are fake just from looking at them. Like, uh, I think this Mona Lisa right here is fake, because uh, the hands are positioned differently than they are on the real work of art. Uh, some paintings, though, such as this one over here, I think are always genuine. It's the one with the red pants, right? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Well, I, um... I promise I know Animal I Crossing, thought, but... I... <laughs> Yes, this painting is always genuine, okay. So, you can look up guides on the internet. If you have knowledge of artwork, you can look at them at a glance and tell if they're fake or not, which, be very, very glad that this is your first Animal Crossing game, because before, in previous installments, it didn't do this. Uh, it was just purely random and up to luck if the painting was real or not. If the painting is fake, you cannot donate it to the museum, which is the purpose of paintings. It's another thing in the museum for you to complete. And it's really, really frustrating buying a painting and having it be fake. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you want to head down to the docks? Yeah, sounds good. Crazy All Red, right. unfortunately, only lets one person in at a time, too. So he forced me to wait outside. Uh, that, <laughs> so that's why you're... Okay, I gotcha. Okay, we're all ready to go now. Okay, so um, I want to show something really, really funny. Um, it's telling me to gather at the dock. Uh, multiple people can go off to the island, and if you are a boy character, you would know it from looking at my character, but I am a boy character, and you tell Captain that you're not ready to go yet, Shuck your oysters, Emil! <laughs> I love that line. Like, that is great. Just shuck your oysters, Emil. <laughs> and he only says it to boy characters, too. Like, Cap and I haven't gotten to show this. He flirts, like, with girl characters. And it's just, it's so freaking funny that he says that to boys. <laughs> and, like, I never see anyone point that out either. Like, Cap'n's just full of so many good quotes. I, I don't know. Do you like Cap'n? I do. I, I, I think love his singing and... Yeah, exactly how he always flirts with the female characters is the best. Especially since he's most likely married and has a child. <laughs> yeah, he, he is married and has a yeah. child. It's, it's kind of funny, though, but um, I forget how you can find this line. But I've talked to Leilani before, mm -hmm. uh, his wife, and she has told me that Cap'n always sits out on the boat and he's not allowed on the island because his singing is just so maddening that it has just driven her mad to <laughs> exiling him from the island. <laughs> Oh, I could listen to so Cap'n that's... singing all day. <laughs> I know, Cap'n, you have a beautiful voice. Don't let your wife tell you anything otherwise. That's that's my attitude to singing as well, if you couldn't tell with how much I sing horribly. <laughs> so, uh, now that we're on the island, uh, oh, you have a wetsuit for sale. Um, bit of a confession, I've been doing some tours on my own time, because you have to play at least a few tours to unlock all of them. And I kind of wanted to, like, show some of the later ones, because I'm really experienced with them. Ah, oh, I'm ten medals short, I can't buy them quite yet, so... That's, I do have a few medals, but I can't really show them quite yet. Um, you want to uh, you want to talk? Should I talk? What should we do? Uh, you can go ahead and select one, and I'll sit down. Great. So, um, what tour are we going to be playing first? So, I guess we'll go for the official balloon hunt tour. Oh, God, balloon hunting. This will actually let me show off something that I haven't shown off on my Let's Play yet, so that, that's kind of good, actually. Awesome. Uh, so, we all, need to, we all need to sit down in chairs to go, of course. That's right. And, um... 
this is, um, I will say the tours. Um, I don't know what your opinion of them is, though, but I love just... I, I love the idea of tours, like, how you get to play, like, little mini-games together that are, like, proper organized. Like, it kind of eliminates the need for the timer item, which I kind of question why that's even in the game. I think I even say that earlier today. But, um... Uh, you meet up at Tortimer, like, in foreign lands and stuff like that, and you get to, like, go to, like, random generated towns and stuff like that. And I like how you get to just kind of go all over the world, basically. Like, it, it makes the game feel a lot bigger to me. Definitely. And like you were saying, yeah. in City Folk and Wild World or whatever, you'd always have to kind of make up your own mini games. so it's nice they added in their own yeah. actual ones that you get rewards for. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Um, so, if I may take over the commentary one last time here, just to kind of explain something that I haven't said yet. Um, thing is, I had one of these items that I'm holding right here, the slingshot, in my Nookling store the other day, and I didn't notice it, and everyone in the comments was like, did you mean to not buy that? And I'm just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, slingshots will allow you to pop balloons. Uh, I need to aim for the blue ones, and he aims for the red ones. We need to pop as many together as possible. I can see where red balloons are transparent on my screen, but that's really it, so I can kind of give him some pointers. And basically, you want to shoot down these balloons to get points. Um, normally in your town, there are balloons that have items on them, and you can shoot those down. I haven't really gotten to show this yet. I think I've seen, like, one balloon above the town so far while recording, though, but I wasn't able to show it, so that's pretty much what that is. Uh, so, how goes it? How is your job hunting balloons? Well, so far, I have eight. <laughs> no, 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 a freaking lot. Oh my god, I, so I can see pitfalls. myself going for a... I can see... How m uh, you haven't fallen into any yet, have Not you? yet. <laughs> and I just fell into oh. a third... Can I stop <laughs> falling in the pitfalls? <laughs> Okay, oh, no. there we go, and he falls into one, okay. So, uh, on the bottom screen, I'll flash that on screen really quick, you can see a map of where the balloons are, and it'll also show you which way the wind's blowing, which you want to, you know, predict where the balloons are going to be, you need to, like, shoot ahead of where they're going to be, you need to, like, lead the shots a little bit. So, th there's quite a bit of depth to these games, they're, you know, they're a lot better than you think that they would be, and I, I like that a lot, it feels like a lot of effort went into these minigames, and I... It, it, they're a fun little distraction, and the items that you can get from metals are really cool. Like, you know, I can get that wetsuit, for example, and, you know, you can use that back on the mainland. So. I, I've always been a fan of these. Uh, are you there? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just the internet, like, it's really cutting out. So I'm trying. Uh, I'm so yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. It's not that I'm, like, being quite. It's just yeah. trying to make out what you say. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, sorry about that. My internet is not being the best today, unfortunately. Oh, Usually I have, like, amazing internet, but it's kind of being lame. Of course, on the day that I want to record multiplayer stuff, couldn't have been acting up any other day. Has to be acting up the day that we're going to be doing multiplayer stuff, of course. <laughs> So, uh, what we're doing here is that we have to pop as many balloons before the time's up, um, if you're wondering about that. There's no, like, I pop enough certain number of balloons, and- Oh! Actually, um, I don't know if you have this on your screen, though, but there's a bunny balloon oh, yeah, on my I map right one. now. If I pop those, you get some bonus points, so those are worth more, and I'm just gonna ignore that one balloon off over in the corner to get that one, just cause it's worth more. So, come on, bunny balloon, I need to get the bunny balloon. How many times can I say bunny balloon? <laughs> um, back in the... Uh, I also forgot this. Uh, back in the plaza, um, you, might, you might see that there's, like, fish and bugs running around. Back in the plaza, you can talk to Lloyd, and you can get, like, different tools other than the one that you're supposed to be using, like, if you want to, like, catch bugs or fish, like, to wait out the rest of the timer. And can I stop falling into pitfalls? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I, I'm sucking pretty bad, I'll admit that. Uh, what was our goal again? Oh, Anyone? wow, like, I think so. And I am not even remotely close to that right now. Yeah, our our, our number our number will turn gold when we hit the gold, oh, okay. apparently, so we do have that. So it, it will tell us when oh we hit God. it. I have never fallen into so many pitfalls in my life. <laughs> yeah, it's always as soon as you start recording. That's, that's a Let's Play curse for you. It's always that you can be the envy of all of your friends. You can be, like, the best at a game ever. And then as soon as you hit that record button, you suck worse than any five-year-old <laughs> ever could. <laughs> how it always is and it's just like I don't know it, oh we hit the goal it was 40 uh, oh. it's always like the opposite for me as well like whenever like I'm recording and I say that something is like borderline impossible I always do it in one try but whenever I say this is so easy how could you ever oh, mess it up right. I always yeah. screw it up uh, it just seems how it goes all the time <laughs> yeah everything that's hard is easy and everything that's easy is hard and it's just like nobody ever believes it like uh huh sure yeah it's hard <laughs> <laughs> alright so um I do have to say, uh, having the two of us here, it, it is really, really nice getting to finally do some multiplayer stuff. I'm wanting to do it, it's just that, um, you know, I always had, like, something else to talk about in the videos, so I, I do kind of apologize both to you and to the viewers for taking so long with doing multiplayer stuff, and I really, really want to catch that bug, but I can't. So, 
Uh, hopefully we can have you back for more stuff in the future as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I I'd like to do different tours and things like that. We can't knock out nearly every tour in just one visit, and um, the goals are actually more demanding the more people that you have, so you have to work together. And I hate my running animation in this <laughs> Why did I let him choose this? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no, no. I was going to say, there's like uh, a lot of mini games also, and you don't always have access to them every day, right? I think they change. Yeah, it, uh, the, the, that's another thing is that uh, understand that if you want us to play like a certain tour, it shuffles every day and it's random what tours you have access to each and every day. So it just is kind of luck of the draw on the days that I want to record multiplayer stuff or that we want to record multiplayer stuff, I should say, that whatever tours we have, because this is just one of many, many, many games that we could be playing. I mean, there's even like different ways of fishing and like different ways of bug catching like there's like salt water ones and game over we're done yep. <laughs> hopefully we got at least silver yeah i'm hoping uh, we'll 76 see. balloons is not bad that was that was almost double the goal yeah. let's see i, did I, fall I, I fell into more pitfalls than i usually do yeah let's see take gander at the results and your final score is 76 points gotta admit i'm impressed you got any points at silver okay so we got five oh, nice. medals each for that and then uh because we're doing multiplayer the top contributor will get, ah, oh, I got two, and you get one. So that means that I pop more balloons. So it's kind of like a ranking system to say who popped more. Um, if we pop the same number, we would both get two as well. So I, I like that, how you do get, like, contributor points, and it tells you, like, who popped the most. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Haven't got to talk that yet. Um, you want to select another tour for us? Absolutely. Let's see. I think we have time. I think we got time for at least one more. Yeah, I think so, and hopefully you'll get those remaining five medals you need. Got it. All right, so next we're going to be doing the market price bug tour. And with this, it says, want to see the bell value of the bugs you catch as your score goes up? Then this is the tour for you. Yeah, so you kind of get like a feel like for how much bugs are worth and things like that. And you're trying to like get, you're not trying to catch a specific number of bugs. You're trying to catch valuable bugs and get the selling price that you would get for those bugs um, a bunch. Uh, it is worth mentioning though that if you do like a bug catching tour, for example, you don't get to keep the items. But like if you pick up like flowers or fruit off of the trees, you do get to keep them and you get to put them in your little box and take them home with you. So uh, doing tours is actually a great way to get fruit and flowers that you don't get have if you see them laying around. Or just um, we can even go fishing during this and we'll get to keep the fish. So, talking to Lloyd and getting those different tools at the start can be really good. Oh, there's mongos! I don't have mongos. Or mangoes, excuse me, not mongos. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounded really stupid. And it really is mango. It's not me being weird. Uh, okay, so we need to catch 20,000 bells worth of bugs. Okay. Let's get started. Get ready. Got it. Get set. Loading, 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 loading. <laughs> go! Right. Okay, I'll go up. I'll, I'll go Here down. we go. I, I, I love my running animation. I'm going to pick a few of these mangoes really quick. Just mangoes really quick <laughs> early on just so that I have them because I don't have this fruit in my town yet and I want to pick at least a few of them. I assume that you have every fruit in your town. I do, yeah, and um, the island so definitely you, helped out in that aspect. Uh, you have an apple town, if I'm not mistaken. That's true. Uh, it's like Tim, how he lives in... Uh, well, no, I shouldn't say that out loud because I don't know if he wants me saying where he lives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's see. Uh, I haven't found a single bug yet, and that kind of worries me. They could be on trees, they could be on flowers, they could just be flying around. I found one, but um, it killed itself. I, uh, it went into like the water. <laughs> I got uh, one. Did I get one? Yes, I did. Okay, I finally got my first one. Uh, oh, we got them on the same time. Long nice. logos. Woohoo, I got 200 <laughs> bells. It'll also tell you, like, on screen how much it's worth if you don't want to do the math, which... This is a great way, though, because it's it makes figuring out what bugs are valuable and, like, how much they sell for, it makes it fun because, like, it's action-packed and you're just, like, running around catching bugs with a friend. And you're, like, trying to, like, cover each other and all that. Like, I have a lot of fun playing this mode. Me too. And mar market price fishing is nice as well. Unfortunately, I can't really hear my game audio the way that I'm recording these, though, so I can't really do fishing too effectively. <laughs> so I'm awful at fishing. I can barely catch any sharks ever. <laughs> I I I'll say this right now. I don't know if you do live commentary in your videos. I assume you do. Mm -hmm. Um, fishing while doing live commentary really freaking hard. <laughs> the talking about something and trying to fish effectively, especially when you're catching like tough fish that you have a very limited amount of time to do it in, it's not easy. It's really like it not. makes fishing <laughs> like whenever I'm recording, I suck horribly at the fishing, and like I have to like be quiet if I'm gonna fish for a bit because I just I can't do it. <laughs> It's not easy. <laughs> that harvest event so, where we had to get fish, it took me forever. Yeah. That 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 video, like, um I, I had to capture like an hour and a half of footage to like show everything that was in that. Like a lot of stuff gets cut out of these videos just because Animal Crossing does have like a fair amount of monotony to it. And it's it's therapeutic to play though, but I do try to like 
trim out the monotony wherever possible to just kind of keep things going. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, Jewel Beetle. Jewel Beetle. I don't think I've actually caught one of these on screen so far, so I'm getting a new bug right here. I don't get to keep it, but I've caught a new bug, so we at least get to show it. Uh, 2,400 bells, not bad. Okay, we are almost to the goal already, and we have two and a half minutes left, and... Oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, come on. Come over here. Come over here. Yes! Oh! There's another one right nice. there. Wow, I'm getting, like, so excited about <laughs> catching bugs. The, the thing is, like, people, like... People say Animal Crossing is a very relaxing game, and it is, though, but there are those moments where you just freak out and you get just so excited over, like, catching a bug or catching a fish or... Like, if you're making videos on it, they can be kind of stressful to put together just because oh, yeah. of how much goes into them and just, like, how much footage you have to capture for, like, a given day of Animal Crossing to show everything you want to I'm not to sure do. if you've run across any of the, like, evil insects in your video either, but some of them can be very frightening to catch. <laughs> you, you, you mean the ones that attack yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, those, I think those only appear during the summer, so I haven't actually gotten to show those okay. yet. Maybe I will th at a later point, but... Those are made out of um, pure evil and nothing else. Uh, yes. Uh, anybody who has played Wild World Onward should know exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> those things. <laughs> many, many sleepless nights trying to catch those and being afraid of them murdering me in my sleep. <laughs> Animal Crossing is a surprisingly stressful game when you're when you're going after things like that or whenever you're like trying to catch something that's difficult to catch. So, come on, we have we have like a minute and a half left. We've met the goal. I want to get like a gold award award though, because if you if you get gold rank, you do get considerably more medals. Definitely, I'm still trying to um, find some more bugs. Uh, there's actually, um, I, I meant to bring this up. There is, um, there's something that I wanted to say about the island. There is a an optimal strategy to going to islands and getting medals. If you have a Bell Boom Ordnance Town, you will get 20% more medals from Tortimer rounded up. Uh, and on top of that, items from Grams will cost 20% more medals as well. Your optimal strategy is to go into an island in a town that has the Bell Boom Ordinance enacted and then buy your items from Grams in a town that doesn't have the Bell Boom Ordinance. So there's actually an optimal strategy to, you know, getting the most bang for your buck when you're playing on the island. And it's something that I don't see noted a whole lot of places, so I kind of wanted to bring it up real quick. Oops. So. Hopefully, hopefully I'm not boring you by explaining thing after thing, by the way. Oh, no, not at all. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. just like concentrating on like where are the bugs. No, I, I know you're concentrating, it just that I, <laughs> I, I just kind of mean that I'm interesting for, for a multiplayer video I've just kind of been explaining oh, yeah. things a lot. No and worries. I, yeah. Just because I haven't gotten to really show the island yet, and it's just kind of my first time, and I do like to go into like little details and oh, you yeah, know, yeah. give little tips that I've picked up and stuff like that. And okay, come on, we I need to get like a Come on, stop! Latencying latencying, is that even a word? Okay, I wanted to get <laughs> I wanted to get like a last second capture. Okay. Three, two, one, I right. got to control my character, like okay. We got over one and a half times what the goal was, so let's see. Come on. Hey, Horf, that was a hoot. Yeah, I didn't know he was happy from Rocker's Modern Life. Let's see. 32,860 worth of bugs. That's silver. Oh, and no. <laughs> at, least, at least I got enough for the wetsuit so I can buy that. Okay. That's true, yeah. Let's get an extra bonus. And I am top contributor once again. A valiant effort, Andrew Arcade, good sir, but I am top contributor. <laughs> I, I sound so full of myself when I put it like that. <laughs> I clearly don't pull my weight here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's your, it's your, it's your island, though. Thank, thank you so much for having me over. I, I am glad that you have a wetsuit for sale in your oh, town. Yeah. There's actually all kinds of different colors of wetsuits that you can get. I kind of would like another color besides this uh, yellow one, but hey, I'm not complaining. It will let me put on something other than the peach dress for a little bit. Um, forty medals. Uh, it's a deal. I'll take it. And uh, actually, when you buy things from the island, they don't go away. You can buy as many per day as you want. There's also furniture sets you can only get through here. This is the cabana set, actually. So, uh, that's kind of nice and all. I, I, I like that. I never noticed there was a bell machine over here. Yeah. Yeah, I never noticed that. Um... God, could you imagine repaying your house from the island, like, <laughs> getting bells from Layla over here? That should be a challenge. Repay an entire oh, loan in your wow. house only using Layla. That would be so hard. <laughs> uh, that would just be painful. Like, she gives you, like, nothing. Like, she's like, oh, that hammerhead shark that you would get, like, 20,000 bells from on the mainland? I'll give you three. <laughs> Uh, Such a ripoff. I don't know. It is. Uh, you want to head back to the mainland? Oh, I think absolutely. that's about all we have time for. Yeah. So we'll do that. Okay. I like your neighbor, um, Stinky. <laughs> Stinky's great. Yeah. I, I, have a, I like Pietro a lot as well. Yeah, like, Pietro's I, I got awesome. good villagers. I, I got really good villagers. You have good ones too. Like, I, I was kind of worried that I was going to end up with bland villagers and I was just going to struggle to get villagers <laughs> that I liked. But yeah, anyway. 
So, uh, I guess this is where we part ways until another time. Uh, thank you so much for having me over to your town, Andrew. Oh, yeah, no I, uh, I wasn't, I, I wasn't aware that I was gonna have issues with the, um, with getting the, uh, the right tours, though, because all my tours are easy difficulty because my town is just new and I haven't played enough tours yet. So, thank you for having me over on such short notice. It was uh, great getting to see a little bit of your town. I wish I could have shown more of it, though, but there's kind of spoilers. Like, your main street is, like, way more developed than mine, and I don't want to spoil what gets built up there. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to head back now. I'll open the presents that you gave me uh, toward the end of my video, and yeah. Um... Check out Andrew Arcade's channel if you haven't already. He makes videos on Animal Crossing as well as other mostly life simulation games, if I understand correctly from what I've watched. <laughs> yeah, so you do mostly life simulation stuff. So he's got his own Animal Crossing videos. If you want to watch the development of his town, um, I think your series has been going on way longer than mine. And yeah, uh, thanks again for having me, and I will be taking my peach dress and leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, see you guys later. Okay. All right, and we're back, and it is still snowing, and the music is different, and I love it. You know, the music just sounds all, like, twinkly and everything when it's snowing. I love it just so, so much. So, yeah, that was really nice getting to visit another town. I wasn't counting on getting to do that today, but it was kind of a nice surprise that we got to. So, he had five presents for me. I was going to wait till I got home to open these. Uh, let's see what we got. A tingle hood. Great. Just great. That goes together with my ensemble so awesomely. Let's see. Uh, what's second off here? A tweeter. Uh, I can't wait to show this one. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Didn't really make much sound, but that is really cool. Uh, the the tweeter is an item, example of an item you can get over Street Pass from just like talking to other people that you Street Pass with. Uh, another such example is this pinwheel. He's gonna, oh, it matches the tingle hood. That is really cool. When you run with the uh, pinwheel, it will twirl in the wind, which is kind of nice. Um, it was just a nice little item. Doesn't really serve any purpose. It's just kind of nice looking. Uh, he sent me a heart balloon. Again, it matches Tingle's color. How fitting. And what is the last one? It's giving me another green balloon. Let's see. Oh, okay, just a standard balloon. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, the balloon kind of... He was running with a balloon earlier when uh, we were in his town, though, so... Yeah, you can see that. I think you can still shake trees. No, you can't. Okay, I thought you could have had a balloon, but you can't. Um, so yeah. Uh, out of that visit, I got quite a few gifts. I very much appreciate all the gifts, man. I wasn't expecting to get all that just from showing up to your town, man. That was very, very nice of you. Uh, I also got these three mangoes. Er, I can't talk mangoes. I'm sure somebody pronounces it mango, okay? So I'll just go with that. And I got this black wetsuit. So we can go uh, diving in our town tomorrow. We've done it on the island, but we have not done it on the mainland. And the stuff that you get on the mainland actually differs, so that's cool and all. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I wanted to show that I've got here. Um, Huh. Do I have anything that I want to show? Uh, I should mention that I have not paid off my house yet to Nook. I said that I was probably going to do that today, though, but I think I'm going to wait another day. I want to go and get some more money before I do that, just because I don't have enough to pay it off. Don't really think there's anything new that I want to put in the house um, for today. This was kind of an uneventful day in the way of getting furniture, but it was an eventful day in the way of showing new things. And, you know, it was an adventure. I like that. Tomorrow, an Animal Crossing New Leaf. We're going to try out some diving here on the mainland, because I haven't gotten to do that yet. Maybe we'll even discover some new locales here on the mainland now that I can go swimming. Not to mention, we have Chester moving in tomorrow. Yes! Can't believe I got a panda bear. That is awesome! Oh, I love my villagers so much. Okay. See you guys tomorrow.